I'd like to thank you all for the love and support over on the YouTube side of things. Thank you for all the guys over on TikTok as well. You guys are awesome. We have got two new channels starting in the middle to end of this year. A lot happening in the uh, Shana scene. And also, don't forget, we've got video releases. We've got one on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. And we've got one on Sunday. Now, now it's going to be really weird for me because I actually get to play on a second monitor with a controller, which is brand new to me. Quite a few firsts, actually. I've never streamed from my PS5. So anything we've done in the past was PS4. I'm not going to go into the settings. I'm not going to change anything we're going to go straight into the game we are on version 1.1 so i've heard mixed reviews of this game already and this is one of the reasons why i really want to play it i pre-ordered it a while ago and i really just want to uh, give my own first impressions because i tend to think of myself as one a boomer and two a veteran gamer and dealing with the fours and against that i've heard so far give like a, a boomer impression i do get that some people are having issues with the game but i feel like they're new gen issues and not old gen issues the show good it's a tv show at the moment running on i believe netflix or somewhere really into that like that show has been amazing the first five episodes have been banging um, and we've got a lot of samurai eastern games coming up on the channel this year ghost of tsunami which i've really got high hopes for which is kind of why i wanted to play this game first really because you know it's got mixed reviews whereas ghost of tsunami just got smashed out great reviews so i'd like to compare the two in the way of the sword yeah someone's mum's gone ham Under the tutelage of a master, the blades, they honed their skills in pairs called blade twins. Well, that's a mummy f I would have messed with. <laughs> so far, so good. I mean, story's looking intriguing. Graphics ain't looking too bad. Graphics look real nice on this. Okay, we get to customize our carry. I weren't expecting that. I thought you just had this dude. Every screenshot I've seen, every review I've seen is just this dude. So I didn't think I'd be able to play as anyone that looked like myself. I feel like we should just stay with this man. Like I feel like the story would be better played with this guy. I feel like on my first playthrough, I just want to play as him as he is. So this game does have adaptable difficulty as well. If you are struggling with the game, you can set it to an easier difficulty. Maybe beat that boss and then set it back to normal or hard, whatever floats your boat, which I like. I like the fact you can sort of go at your own pace and uh, skill level. So we can select our character from here. We can either play as a Whamans or a Mans. Well, obviously I'm a Mans, I've got to play as a Mans. But that is a good idea that if we play a second playthrough, then we can play it as a woman. Maybe you can switch out as you play as well. Now this is running on PS5 at a lot 60 frames with everything on but motion blur. And it looks pretty good so far. They don't feel quite 60, if I'm honest. But then I'm used to playing on PC so much, getting that 120, 140 frames, you know? Got chickens. We actually have chickens. You know what's happening to those later. What are you going to use? So what have we got here? We can pick between two weapons. We've got a massive choice. It's best to go with something that suits you. Okay, dual swords looking good. So basically forward and square for advanced attack and charge attack hold square. Pretty basic stuff there. There's your basic, there's your charge, and there's your lunge forward and attack. That's nice. Where's them chickens? <laughs> he wants me to choose another weapon. I wonder if I can oof a chicken in the time. I'm gonna sneak up. I'm creeping. Creeping. Is that creep? Don't think there's no lock on chicken abilities. <laughs> run, chicken, run! <laughs> you can hit a chicken, but you cannot kill a chicken with the sticks. That's confirmed. I don't know why I needed to know the answer to this question. Right, second weapon choice. We can pick. What is that? Pole arm, no joke, that is long. There's a range on it, boys. This one looks like a broadsword. Dachi, never heard of an Adachi before. Let's go with that. Coming like Cloud Strife Sword. We've got a charge on this. Big time, chopper car. You're happy with that, Sam? Yeah, I'm happy. You happy? Let's go. I just freaking love these games. I love their setting, I love the Eastern look. Do you know what I mean? Given the opportunity I would be living right here right now in this time period too it's F this time period we've got L1 of course just hold it there you go blockage we've also got dodge move on circle Wait. better to dodge during a block there you go man down Mr. steal your loot okay cool can I finish him can I whack him on the head Look at these little fellows. The whole family of little Buddha statues. Okay, here we go. So R2. This tutorial is nice. It takes its time with you. I'm locked on, so I can pretty much just take my time with the button. What if we can jump attack? Yes, jump attack. 
Yes, jump attack, spin move. The martial skill will go through, it's like a guard break. So to me, it looks like you've got three different options of attack. You've got your horizontal, vertical, and you've got a powered up version like this, which is essentially a guard break or a big hit. So not too hard to grasp the combat so far. This is my favourite character already. He's old, she's skilled, she's wise, and she's aged well. Oh, hello, what are you doing? There you go. Boom, so you can get out of a combo, that's cool. There it is on the third one. She hit me twice already. Okay, that's a guarantee on that. You see that? When she comes in, she's going to do a free hit. On the third hit, every time. One, two, and count spark. And then you can go in and whoop up. You've improved. <laughs> yes. That was some pronunciation now. Even approved. Okay, dear old granny's coming at us, boys. Switch control down the edge. Ooh, okay. She has exactly the same style and moves. She's got a quicker combo. Right, one, two, three, four, five. She's got a five hit combo on one button. Big damage, finish. Now we we'll switch back to the dudes. He's got one, one, two, Zilla. That is satisfying. The counter is satisfying. I'm assigning you a new mission. Yes, we've got a mission. i tell you what I'm getting vibes of already. Omnimushu vibes straight out of the gate because it's quite linear. Like you're following a path. There's no freedom to sort of explore really. I'm assuming later on the game does open up greatly. It's got a very PS3 but polished look to it. Plus I think it's a wise choice at the minute to have your graphics slightly below what capabilities are. You know, Unreal 5, top-notch graphics, of course, they look amazing. You can't run it on much. So you need a top-notch PC. PS5 is basically a 60 frames a second machine pc wise you know yeah you can get 140 frames but you want to play it on like the handhelds that are out at the moment which is really a booming business right now you know you want to get it on the steam deck you need it to be a certain level and this game has a lot of pc settings in the settings although it's ps5 exclusive at the moment so was ghost of tsunami for many many years now i see this one coming straight to pc within the next six months you know it's all there you know everything you want as a pc Good. gamer is in the settings know. already and like i said this is locked to 60 frames so when they release it on pc it'll be 120 frames i would assume which makes it a lot smoother combat i think it looks gorgeous anyway this is good enough for me this is good this is almost perfect for me like i don't need to get my games to look any better than this this is very much uh from what i understand in the realm of the show i've been just mentioning a shogun where you've got the western mixing with the eastern training the eastern on like western weaponry vice versa a learning culture from the eastern side putting our cultures together to make you know a, a unity this seems like where this game is going it's almost like a precursor to that tv show so that character i'm going to go as the whammons for this one because i liked her speed like i really like her five hit attack okay we'll jump Swim fast with circle and dive where you can dive. Oh, okay. Sneak up to the boat, approach the enemy without being noticed, then triangle. Oh, in the back, Jack. My man's took down the second one. Don't forget this. And there is some detail of wet, you know, she does look damp. He's still in the water. <laughs> Would you want a hand? I love that. I love how quick it is just to get around. No nonsense, no padding. Ooh, okay, so this is our first fight against two enemies. There's the counter. You've really got to master that counter. Ooh, that looked painful. I love the fact that there's now blood on the swords as well. I love the fact it's pointing at exactly where to go too. Like, I know a lot of people see that as a bit of a, oh, holding your hand type gameplay mechanic, but it's a story-based game. Like, I don't want to get lost. I don't want to have to run around in a circle for 20 minutes. You know, I found like the earlier Resident Evil sort of did that. You back and forward through the mansion if you haven't watched the tutorial, just to get to where you're going and find the next checkpoint. That was an unneeded mechanic. You could have just given me a left trigger click to give me a waypoint, you know? And then I could have at least knew the direction I was going in. So holding my hand during the game, I think is, is a really good mechanic. Okay, we've got a stealth kill coming in. Approach from the back, take it slow. 
walk with a light tilt as we get there. Oh, try and set him back. He's only got to finish him for me. Paid off. Child's play. And this game is done by Team Ninja, the guys that done Ninja Gaiden. So you're going to see a lot of Ninja Gaiden influence in the game. And of course, like I say, Omni Mushu and games like this definitely influence in the game design here. Successful timing can counter spark to allow you to deflect bullets. Okay, I think I'm going to take my man for a spin here. Wow, okay, so it's the swords on flame? That's a cool mechanic. By far, that is the hardest timing to get used to so far. You have to wait for the gun to glow, then the spark to show, then you want to hit that button. If you're in the middle of a fight with a couple of other dudes and you see that in the sideline, chances of you hitting that are almost impossible. Especially because you've got lock on as well. Oh my god, this game is incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty... <laughs> it's not bad. It really isn't so far. But it's early days, you know. Let's see how we go. It's pretty busy. Is there another way? So we could just go down here and keep out of their eye line. That's good as two choices. So these are like your checkpoints, right? If I die, this is probably where I'm going to respawn. Right? It's a touch the banner. What does that do? We can warp between the waypoints. And it gives you your mission as well, your mission objective, which is infiltrate the black ship, steal a secret message, and assassinate Perry. 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 This is what we're in at the moment. I mean, six. Six on the toes, but six on the metal gloves. It doesn't make any sense. Surely it'd be four on the toes, maybe even a two. They look like he's wearing sandals and socks, bros. That, you know, staying deflecting no sword or bullets. Ooh, this is interesting. So R2. <laughs> Again. Again. I think it's a bit filth how they just automatically target you when you go near them. There it is, boys. There it is. We do have a sprint. There's a little hole. There's a little hole. Secret chest. Yes. Just found some booty. We got a rifle Mark II. We have a new primary weapon. He's brought the sticks with him. <laughs> Why has he brought the sticks? We've got swords. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's just a left trigger, right trigger scenario to use the gun. But it's going to go loud, see? We might choose to opt not to do that. But then this guy's got a gun, so... Headshot, baby. Boom, man down in one clap. I have to say, I've never used a PS5 controller uh, before in this sort of game. I've used it for racing games. It seems like the it seems like the right trigger is actually adaptive. When I'm aiming, it's really quite stiff to pull, but then when I let go of aim, it's really quite floaty. That's awesome. I didn't know it had that adaptive triggers. It's almost like someone's like messing with you. <laughs> Easy stealth kill, bros. I love the fact that this game is not taking the gore to the next level. It's not one of those where you're going to get somebody and it's going to go like all over the screen. It's minimal and it looks good. I feel like a thief right now. I feel like a proper thief sneaking around doing people ill will. What's in the box? But oh look, he didn't like that. Wow! <laughs> it's the uh, inflatable wailing arm tube men. <laughs> Ooh, we got stamina bar. I didn't realise it is. Right down. <laughs> he fell over it. Oh, they stabbed him in the butt. <laughs> Gave him two fans. Moving on. Where's the captain's quarter? Cause I got the cabin key. Barrels at him. Use the environment. It's kind of like Spider Man in that regard. I've seen a lot of footage of Spider Man where they use the environment a lot. Try to sneak a hit in the back there. Got my weapon. Did you block it? Who sent you? <laughs> he just soaked the bullets. His first fight is a bit punishing. You can parry him at very specific timing. There it is, did you see it? He went for the triple. Got my eyes on the exploding barrel to the left. Got it. Ooh. 
Eat him up. Did you see the little glow off his sword? How pacific you have to get that. Rose. This is serious. Not today. I've got a musket ready. Oh, headshot. We just took his draw out. Do we want to finish him? I thought he played quite well. I'm afraid I can't let you kill him. <laughs> he just disappeared in smoke. You don't like that. You don't like that at all. Yeah, you could. He's quite hard. There's no way. You didn't like me pulling that cat out on him. I know that. A village will sacrifice their partner for duty. So we shall be who will do the deed. We have to kill somebody off. Like somebody's got to go. No, I really like her. Like, but I just feel like I want to play through as the guy. That is a harsh choice for me. What? Ooh. Okay, nobody got oofed. That's a good sign. Well, I lost an arm, I think. Now, to be fair, this old bird gave us that mission to go on that boat and oof those people. We have no real reason to do so yet. So them defending themselves and us coming off a little bit worse for wear with now only having one arm, it's kind of our fault. We should have planned better and we should really have asked more questions before we're doing a mission like this. What has happened here? Ooh. Ow! Ninjas. We've got shurikens on the L2 now, boys. Or quick attack shuriken, and you don't even have to aim. Okay, damage, five hit, man's out. Then you've got a pop shot. He's planking. What? <laughs> What's he planking for? Pretending he did. Here he comes. Hey. Nice and easy. I think that looks to be it. There's no one to save. That, that would have been nice if we were like pulling people out of the burning building and like saving lives. Okay, she got What are you doing? Oh, okay, lots of ninjas. What's going on here? I like the effects on the snow, I've always liked that when you uh, move your feet you actually get the effect of the snow moving out of the way. Worry about my clan mate, worry about yourself. Got him! Now that guy definitely can see us, we'll retreat indoors. Oh, mate, there's a lot of dudes here, what is going on? Straight to the block move. Turn around, quick block, that's it. Okay, stun, finish. Tell you what, combat is on point. Like anything I can say about this game, is combat is solid. It feels good, it's reactive, every hit seems like it connects, and maybe that is why we have a game that doesn't look technically groundbreaking but is on the baseline solid is a solid action game and it has great souls like combat like when i saw three people i was out i was scared there's three people coming at me it's easier to handle 1v1 in this game your counter attacks your movements and your decisions make such an impact on what you're doing you don't want to have to have three people surrounding you because you can't even think do you know what i mean you want to lead people away from the pack to fight to fight them 1v1 to even stand a chance of getting through the game at a reasonable pace and, and calmly anything this game's going to do beyond this point i think is going to be quite impressive to me if this was the gameplay and this was it all the way through i could do this all the way through Tenshu is, is where it, what is jumping into my brain. So we've got Omnimushu mixed with a bit of Tenshu. Here ninjas doing ninja stuff. Okay, they look like little musket pellets, but they're actually rabbit shots that you eat to get your health back. So we've got the pirate swords. They are jewel swords. I might take them for a spin. Here we go, look. Like ninjas doing ninja shit. Ah, oh, dear old granny. Shot you in the back, Jack. Ooh, shot you in the back, Jack. Ooh, shot you in your piece, jeez. Wow. That's <laughs> so satisfying. Taking that ninjas left and right. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, there seems to be some sort of aim assist lock on as well. If you aim down the sight and they happen to move, just come out of it, come back in, and it will lock on to them. Just as I suspected, you mean to abandon the clan and such. They're still alive. <laughs> Have you forgotten the code? I don't know what people were moaning about. This game looks absolutely gorgeous. What is people's problem? Like, honestly, for a developer within five years to come up with a game of this quality and then people diss it for looking like a PS3 game. It doesn't look like a PS3 game, I can tell you now. 4K, this game looks gorgeous. No, and I... how is anyone in five years going to come up with a game that groundbreaks what we've already got? This game is all about gameplay and combat. She's not running down her stamina button. Oh, getting Sekiro vibes here. She is tough. There it is. Ooh. Granny's that dirty, she gonna throw stuff at me even after doing all this damage too. Not bad. you did learn something. Damn, we absolutely destroyed it. Show me all you've got. Not today, Granny. Get back. And I think that's how most fights are going to go. You'll probably lose one to then learn your lesson to then go in and get that win. Tell you what as well, both protagonists are really likeable. We haven't had a good game with a nice, likeable protagonist for a while now. Forspoken was one of them that I really had high hopes for. Just a very unlikable main character. There was quite a few like that. We had women protagonists in games that were just the most unlikable types of women, especially older, wiser gamers, let's say, with more experience and not gonna buy into the premise that this giggly, twatty person is able to feel what they're feeling and go through the struggles that they're doing. Like the Tomb Raider reboot, what a great advancement for the Tomb Raider series. Lovable character, really awesome, felt she was strong, you watched her go through her journey, you felt for her. That's how you do a game. That's how this game's doing it. It's giving you two likeable characters and saying, right, you do not want these people to get oofed, and I don't, I want them to, to do well. Now I'm invested, but other games, they get it wrong. They try and think like big explosions and you know, quick wit, which isn't witty because it's written by a lot of woke women. Uh, it's just annoying, it's really annoying and I, I, I don't know if I'm being harsh there but a lot of the games that are coming out with their agendas attached So trash Like they don't sell well, nobody wants to play them, you've wasted your time, you've wasted our time You know, give us what we want, it's a winning formula, it's been the same for years If you want to know what a strong female looks like, like again you could refer back to the Tomb Raider games I mean, even Dreamfall Longest Journey, Dreamfall, back in the day, in the 2000s, that was a banging game, like, she was clever. That was a clever protagonist, and, and she had the purple hair, and the little, uh, you know, single life, and, and the little uh, robotic teddy with her. You know, all the tropes were there to be a bad game, and it weren't, it was a good game. It's so pretty, it is. PS3. Now, I've played some PS3 games lately that do astound and you're like damn at high res 4k this ps3 game looks like modern it doesn't look this good it just doesn't i love the blades of grass even on pc games when i'm running at ultra settings don't have as much of a detailed environment as this and yes you can see here and there where they've cut corners but they're cutting corners for good reason frame rates ps5 exclusive you only have 60 frames a second most games struggle to get that nowadays let's be fair hey hey what up dude he's got a wardrobe on his back oh, a traveler i take it the drunken if trunken carrying go, munken then take this <laughs> earthenware ball oh distraction technique okay cool Basically like um, Last of Us where you throw a bottle or throw a stone and distract people. Head to Yokohama. <laughs> She's out of breath. <laughs> what was that all about? She's off again. That was fucking random. Nothing is happening. <laughs> On that note, I'm pouring myself a drink because 
That's a moment right now.